Are you fed up with chasing after your crush and wanting to be more desired? What if it's not you, but the advice you've been given that just doesn't work? To learn some dating advice, actually backed by psychology and the paradoxical secrets that can make your crush chase after you, keep watching. Be a little selfish. After receiving another rejection, Sai doesn't understand why the jocks or the it crowd seem to effortlessly attract attention and flirtatious gestures when he can't catch a break with the people he's interested in especially when Sai prides himself on being a good person and the it crowd seems to only care about themselves. The YouTube channel, Far From Average, explains that when you look beneath the surface, being self-focused can actually be good, especially when this self-interest motivates you to pursue your goals. Most people find it incredibly attractive when someone is dedicated to improving themselves versus hyper-focused on receiving attention, which can appear needy. While conventional relationship advice tells you to focus on your crush's interests, the paradoxical truth is that focusing on your own interests is what makes you more desirable. Want what you can't have. Chances are you're not daydreaming of someone who constantly shows you they're available. To quote Taylor Swift's song, I knew you were trouble. When she sings, I guess you didn't care and I guess I liked that, it's natural to become obsessed with trying to win someone over. Psychologist and relationship expert Tara Bates sheds light on this paradoxical behavior by explaining that we often believe that if the uninterested person accepts us, we'll be more valuable and can prove to ourselves that we deserved them all along. While you are definitely worth more than proving your worth to someone, it's okay to be picky with who you give your heart to. In fact, it's attractive. Opposites don't always attract. You would think that opposites attract because of how often you hear the phrase, but the paradoxical secret is that it's the exception, not the rule. Clinical psychologist Romani Dervasula says, we tend to gravitate to people who have similar interests to us and who are similar to us in background. Of course, there are expectations to the rule and many people are attracted to their opposite as a way to build or develop parts of themselves they feel they are lacking, explains psychologist John Meyer. Plus, it can also feel exciting to be with someone who is your opposite, confirms clinical psychologist Romani Dervasula. So whether you are similar or different to your crush, just be yourself, because attraction can go either way. The paradox of availability. Dating experts tell you that you should show your crush you're available, but why do most protagonists in rom-coms or romantic dramas have success in playing hard to get? Take season one of Bridgerton, where Daphne and the Duke conspire to use their pretend courtship to make the other suitors jealous, making Daphne appear irresistible. Daphne knows that attraction directly correlates to the perception of availability. The less available and more in demand you appear, especially by a duke, the more others will want you to. Professor of psychology at Rochester University, Harry Rice, supports this phenomena, saying, playing hard to get makes it seem as if you are more in demand. We call that having higher mate value. The allure of being different. There's a reason TikTok is filled with jokes of fans pretending to be uninterested at a Harry Styles or Justin Bieber concert to gain their attention. You wanna be the different person who catches their eye. And this doesn't just apply to pop stars. You wanna be the different and exciting person to your crush. You don't wanna be like everyone else. And psychology affirms this. An article from Psychology Today explains that people are intrigued by the mysterious stranger. And when someone's affections are uncertain, so. Next time you're feeling insecure for not being like everyone else, don't be. Being confident in who you are is attractive. Dating is confusing, paradoxical, and often filled with many mind games. But truthfully, don't worry about making someone chase you and just be yourself. Because no one on this planet is everyone's ideal mate. Relationship specialist and psychologist Tara Bates says, when you want someone whom you simply cannot have, the best thing to do is relax, step back, and really think about why you wanna be with this person that is not interested in you. What do you think about these paradoxical secrets? Will you be trying them? Let us know in the comments and remember, you are valuable.